Digital circuits require the correct timing of signals to operate reliably. One requirement is setup and hold. Setup and hold specifies the minimum amount of time data must be stable before and after a clock edge to be latched properly. Setup time is the minimum time data needs to be stable before a clock edge, and hold time is the minimum time data needs to be stable after a clock edge. Signal transitions outside these minimum requirements will result in a setup and hold violation. Good applications of this trigger would be to debug the timing on a synchronous parallel bus by verifying minimum setup and hold times between data lines on a clock. Another would be to analyze high performance digital to analog converters where proper alignment of signals is critical. Being able to trigger on a setup and hold violation is a very powerful troubleshooting tool. So now we'll go ahead and set the scope up for uh, a setup and hold trigger. Um, before we do that, just to um, um, show you what signals we're acquiring uh, using the default edge, uh, channel 1 is data. That's the yellow line. And the blue line, channel 2, is the clock. So the setup, choose setup and hold. Uh, you can press the trigger menu. And over on the right of the display, you'll notice the uh, trigger type defaulted to edge. We'll go ahead and push the associated button and select setup and hold. Now the uh, second item is the data source, which is channel 1. Our clock source is channel 2. And our setup type is setup. That can be selected uh, to hold as well as a combination uh, setup and hold. We'll use setup for this exercise. And uh, the violation, we're going to set that to 10 nanoseconds uh, for this exercise. So once uh, the setup time is less than 10 nanoseconds, the scope will trigger. Right now, um, we're, uh, we're in auto mode acquiring, and the scope has not triggered. Uh, so a setup and hold violation has not occurred yet. Um, so we'll go ahead and look for that violation. Could take some time. And there we are. So the scope is triggered. And you'll notice that the time between data and clock is less than 10 nanoseconds. Let's stretch that out a little so we can measure that. And if we bring cursors in, we can see that the time is about 8 nanoseconds. So we, the scope has triggered on our setup and hold violation.